Back in my high school days, 9th, 10th grade, I knew this one kid named Junior. I played football with him too at one point. We were cool. We weren't peas in a pod close, but you know, we were cool, cordial acquaintances. We would see each other in the hallway, dap up and keep it moving. That's it. And one thing about Junior is that he loved to talk smack. He loved to start beef, drama, problems with everyone and everything. Like that man did not fear any mortal being. Why? I don't know. I guess he's just one of those. Like he just lived and breathed drama. Like that man would disrespect and diss everybody and their mama. He would talk smack during football games. He would beef with people on Snapchat, start fights during school hours, diss whoever, roast whoever. Like this man had nothing to lose, mainly because he knew how to fight and he was just cocky as hell and full of himself, so he really did not fear a single soul. Sometimes he would even flame me, but I'm one of those people that doesn't take what other people say serious, so y'all know me, I really didn't care. I did not take it to the heart. But one day, this man got into yet another Snapchat beef with someone at our school, but this one would lead to a series of events that would lead to a lot of trouble. Junior posted a mirror fit pic on his Snapchat story. This other person named Bryson from our school screenshotted and reposted it on his Snapchat and called Junior's fit trash on his public story. I'm pretty sure Junior already had ongoing beef with him. Junior had beef with a lot of people at our school and this dude Bryson was one of them. But yeah, I don't know why they had beef, but they just did. Probably just because of Junior's shenanigans. But he took it a step further and responded to Bryson by making a video saying... You was the first bitch ass nigga to take this shit to the internet. You was a hoe ass nigga. Nigga, this shit all on the internet, nigga. I'd be glad to beat your ass though. Fuck you talking about. Junior was not trolling in that video. He sounded mad as hell. Bryson then responded with a pic saying, Hey, you ain't built for shit, pussy boy. I'll break your motherfucking jaw. Keep playing with me, fuck boy. Junior took it an even step further and said, Pussy boy, that's why your mama dead as a motherfucker and your sister at thought. She was just shucking on my shit a week ago. Fuck your dead moms. Fuck your thought ass sister. Fuck your absent pops. Fuck your fat ass auntie and your dead uncle. Fuck your special ed cousin. Word to me, I'll beat the fuck out you, boy. Stop fucking playing with me. Then, Bryson responded with, Oh, word. I keep that same energy tomorrow in school. I got something for you. Scary ass. Uh. Boom! The next day. First period class, science class. Junior was in my class too, believe it or not. And weirdly enough, me and him were lab partners for this assignment. I already saw all the snap stories from the night before, but I don't really talk to Junior like that, so I was not going to bring it up. And I just remember during class, mid-assignment, out of nowhere, he just turns to me and goes... Hey, bro, I just want to let you know I'm getting jumped as soon as class is over. What? Yeah, so I got you on Snap, right? Yeah, yeah. You saw all that shit I was talking last night to Bryson? Yeah. Well, he kind of ain't really like the dead mom comment too well. So right after this class, as soon as the bell rings... It's probably gonna be like five, six heads trying to run my shit. Uh, oh, d dang, bro, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, don't be. I'm just letting you know. As soon as that bell rang, as soon as that door opened, shit finna go down, most definitely. Wait, how do you know they wanna jump you? Man, you know how many threats I got last night off that beef from his whole crew? Talking about as soon as first period ends, we going to jump your shit. You got nowhere to hide, fuckboy. It's cool. I have accepted my fate, and I shall fight with honor. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Moments later, bell rings, class ends. I step out of the class, and sure enough, bro, it was like Bryson and five other dudes just posted up outside waiting for him. I look back in the classroom. Bro nodded his head while he packed his stuff like he knew what was to come. Hey, who mama dead? Hey, who mama dead, bitch? Hey, who mama dead? Hey, I'm a bitch. Hey, stop fucking playing with me.
And then out of nowhere, Junior's homies pulled up to the fight to help him out. Principal Smith! Principal Smith! What is it, James? Oh, come quick! There's a huge fight in the school hallways in front of the gymnasium, and it's too much for security to handle! to do something about this principal smith <gasps> oh, it's worse than i thought i know right black people that's what i'm saying wait what did you just say oh i'll handle them Stop resisting, sir. Guys, guys, he's man. getting restless i need backup i need backup i repeat i need backup i mean he was a cop. Long story short, nobody won the fight. Junior and Bryson got suspended from school. I'm pretty sure like one person in that whole incident transferred schools after that. LOL. Junior ended up with a black eye. And after that day, I don't know what it was, but he toned it down with the smack talk and the drama inducing beef. He became way more quiet, reserved, and mature after that day. And he stayed low key throughout the school year. Lesson learned. Don't talk more than you can chew. I'm out. This nigga never scared me. I shoot the chapel with clarity. This nigga trying to bury me. This watch it hit like a berry. Every girl trying to marry me. Walk from the cake like I'm Jerry. I want you to like a fairy. South stuff, South Berry. I brought my crew like I'm Terry. Fucking hoes in February. Bitch bleeding by the cherry. Pull the trigger, nigga, dare me. Pull in the head like a hairy. I don't think these niggas hear me. Grim Reaper, nigga, fear me. This nigga is just serious. Yeah.